Hey everyone, Dylan Jones here from the Frontier Precision Maple Grove, Minnesota office. This evening I'm messing around with measured codes here at the park. Um, I've got a basketball court here with some paint lines. Um, great place to practice out your measure codes with your control codes and Trimble Access. So this evening what I'm going to do is simply take some, some uh, topo shots on this basketball court, map out the paint lines, and uh, show you the result of what you can do with in the field feature coding. Um, so what I've got here on my TSC7 is my measure code screen open. Hopefully you all can see that. And so what I have set up are a few codes that I'm going to use for the paint lines along with some control codes. I have a start line, a close line, a start tangent arc, end tangent arc, start rectangle, and a start circle edge control code. Um, that should be all I need to be able to draw in these arcs, rectangles, circles, um, and then at the very end I'm going to show you the results. So I think I'll just get going here. One last look there with what I have. Another really nice thing about measure codes before I get going is uh, when you have nine code boxes there, you can use your, numbers, your number keys on your TSC7 or TSC3. Um, and those correlate to those boxes. All right, so I'm gonna get going here and uh, the first point that I'm going to shoot is going to be the corner of the baseline. I'm going to select my paint line start and go ahead and measure. I'm gonna just Go around the basketball court and map it all in. All right, so I'm coming back to my start position here on the outer rectangle. So what control code I want to do to close out that rectangle is use the uh, the close line command. So there's an there's an action that you can give to a control code called close line, and it will allow you to close this point to the start point of that line. So what I'm going to do is use my measure codes command for multi-select code, which is down here at the bottom. I'm going to pick paint line as my feature code, and then CL, which I have programmed into my feature code library as control code, uh, the control code for closed line. So with that as my point code, I'm going to take the measurement Can do it anywhere here on the baseline um, for that matter. So I'm going to take the measurement right here and this point should close my rectangle back to my start position. So I have what we call in basketball the paint of the basketball court which is another rectangle. What I can do is either do a two-point rectangle or a three-point rectangle to draw that in. Um, so I just have I'm just going to hit three corners of that uh, of that rectangle and uh, it's going to close out my rectangle using uh, my start rectangle action. Um, so how I'm going to code this on my data collector is, I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'm going to code it PLSR, and that should start a new rectangle. So I'm going to go shoot that. All right, so I got the paint drawn in, at least here on this half of the basketball court. Uh, now I'm gonna start drawing in um, my arcs. So my three-point arc, um, and then the top of the key there, uh, using a uh, start tangent arc and an end tangent arc command. Um, so, so far, so good. I've got a couple rectangles drawn in is all. Uh, I'm gonna spend some time now mapping out the rest of the basketball court for you guys and then show you the end result when I'm finished. All right, that does it for today. Got my work done here. I'll show you what I ended up with. So hopefully you can see this. Um, I've got all of my lines drawn in here. Um, 
from all the points that I just shot. And uh, so just in a matter of a few minutes or so, I would say five to 10 minutes, I was able to uh, shoot in all of the line work here and be able to verify that my line work is correct prior to going back to the office. Um, that can be really huge for a lot of people. Obviously, this isn't a normal, normal survey application, but uh, this could be used on any roadway type project, um, a residential, commercial, construction, whatever it might be, uh, to shoot in your topo and have your control codes dictate how the line work is drawn in. Um, I know a lot of people do this um, already, but for those of you who are looking to get a little bit more instruction on how this works, stay tuned to what we have coming. Uh, there should be a Tech Talk video coming out very soon to show you how to do feature-coded line work in the field.